I would like to welcome you to the art class. This is the second semester of the year 2020 and 21. So uh, we call this the spring semester. Um, you're in my art class. All right. We have everything kind of set up here. Uh, if you notice, I've kind of set up a really distance learning studio. Um, have good lighting. Got some pretty good lighting over here. All right. I have my overhead right there. And then hopefully you guys can hear me just fine. Uh, this is direct video from uh, the computer. So we have to use with the resources that we have. The first lesson we're really going to talk about is space, not the final frontier um, or the thing that uh, I sometimes forget. Uh, yeah, that space, that spacing out uh, thing. But we're going to talk about positive space and negative space. All right. So if you can think about the positive space of something, all right, like this pair of scissors, um, you can positively see them. Okay, positive space. But if you took an outline of this and then took it away, you could probably still recognize it that it is a pair of scissors. Or if you open it up like this and then drew a line around it in the air and then took it out of the way, you could definitely still see that there was a positive figure there. Now, you're not going to see the figure, but you're going to see the space around where the figure was, the internal holes, and you're going to see the, the cutters of the scissor. You're going to remember that. And it's kind of cool because our brain functions in, a, in an awesome way that we use shape recognition, like that we do the same thing with words. When we have words that we're reading through a book, we don't really read through every single word. Well, some people do. Uh, but eventually we get to the point of reading where we just skim through the words like and the uh, and, and and then we hit on those big words that are pertinent to uh, what we are reading. So when you're using positive space, so this is positively a square, right? Um, and this is positively a equilateral triangle. These are what we call geometric shapes. Okay, um, this would be an organic shape. So. Hey, look at that. We're already learning about shapes. We're learning about space, organic shapes, geometric shapes. That's really the two shapes that make up our entire world. The reason why we really recognize geometric shapes is because, well, geometric shapes eventually bring us into organic looks. Uh, like that. If it was a little bigger, uh, it would look like a house. We could make like a roof and things like that. Now, when we talk about positive and negative space, all right, I'm going to go to the overhead really quick and we'll talk about positive and negative space. All right, so still talking about positive and negative space. We have our our blue sheet here, right? And here's another little cool and interesting fact is, is that these two colors right here, all right, these are what we call complementary colors. If we look on our color wheel, we will see that these colors directly sit across from each other, and we call those complementary colors. We'll get into that um, later on in the semester, because it's very important. Now, most teams like to wear complementary colors. These are the colors of the Broncos, not the Denver Broncos. Come on, people. I'm talking about the Idaho. Idaho State, Boise State. All right. Okay. So I digress a little bit. Uh, so we'll see the Raiders, silver and black. Uh, the Niners, gold and, and, and red. I believe. Yeah. Cardinals, well, they're just white and cardinal. Uh, there's really, that's, that's a different one. But you'll see uh, Pittsburgh. You can go down the list. Uh, baseball teams, basketball teams, the Lakers. Come on, purple. And orange, those two, those are way cool contrasting colors, um, or sorry, complementary colors. But also, when they're complementary colors, that's my kid, uh, they're also contrasting a lot of the time. So they stand out from each other. Okay, so, all right, we'll go back to our little bit. You learned about that. Uh, we talked about uh, complementary colors 
talked about contrast and colors. We wanted positive and negative shape. So this is our positive shape on our blue sheet. Okay, we got a blue sheet. This is our whole background, positive shape. Okay, but if you took it away, we would still have our negative space, positive space, negative space. Okay, so the space all around this is what we call that negative space. Example here with a white pencil. If we have this shape, like here, all right, positive space, and then we take it out, we still have all this all around here is our negative space. And I, and I use this because we're going to be using this in a project coming up. It's called a Notan. Um, it's a Japanese style of picture creation. Well, we'd use positive and negative space to create kind of a mirror image. And uh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. So um, you can take different positive and negative images and create those spaces. You could use stencils. And you start to create figures. So now you can really see the positive shapes and the negative space surrounding. Now, if we did something like this, we could still see that. Draw the insides. There we go. Positive shapes negative space around it and we can still kind of recognize so if we move this down here and this is what artists use to get people to kind of recognize their artwork because people get confused really easy about things and they throw in recognizable objects in positive and negative space uh, so there's a little segment on positive and negative space uh, what we're going to do with our assignment is we're going to go and we're going to create that positive and negative space with specific objects. All right. Cut it out and put it on the negative space on the negative space. So let me show you what we're going to kind of do. So each of you are going to have a little sheet of orange paper and blue paper. And then this is going to be kind of the hard part because you got to get in here and you got to make, I hope you have a pair of scissors at home. If not, then there should be scissors in your packet. Okay. Not, not as good as these. These are my good scissors. But what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to cut out that stencil of the tape. Let's fast forward this for you a little bit. All right, so there we go. We have the positive and negative space of the tape. All right, so we put a contrasting color into a background. Okay, of the negative space onto a negative space. Now we're getting a little technical there, I know. But we also have our positive space here. So what we can do is throw a mirror image into it. But we still have this left because we still have this positive space. And a little bit of the inside is actually our negative space. Because remember, it's part of our surrounding perimeter of our objects. So what we're going to do is we're going to place that inside there just like that. And that you have the figure. So if you want to take a picture of that, if you don't have the ability to take a picture, glue it down and then send it to me in your next packet. Okay. Now your next assignment coming up is the Notan, which I will get to more in depth. This was just an introduction. Um, to positive space and negative space. Y'all have a great time. And remember, art is life and life is art.
Have a great day.